that we a smoothly met the part officials. The gathering here was short-lived due to a lack of a police permit, which is law under the Public Order Act, something the Patriotic Front are familiar with. Under the chief eye of the police, Mr. Rwinda used the few minutes given to introduce Kaumbwe as party member of parliament to the electorates. <laughs> Mukaangana kwa meta choka kwa 2011 Mukaangana mchitu za meta sirenza PF Muzambia Na wanzatu watapase 5 years saga kwa nisa Mukumbo kia kutumu 2010 na polisi Nansa kwa watu analibe nsa kwa watu ya ya polisi Analibe uniform wa polisi Tinapasa uniform ndisa pia Kwa kana imia nae anatisi Ndipunso abweleza nso mafosi Please, Papeti, Abuela, you know, at a nine, some pericase, a Kosalan Besa, my nomination. They see for me that you cannot permit, could take a chase upon you, Nizari Tanso, my uniform, Mara Uvara police, the Karibo Buela PF. Put your own, a good idea, upon the Kutan Kaina, as you make a put in your police in this appear. The Musanzara Council Chairperson and Kaumbe Parliamentary by Elections takes place on 21st October. 2021 and arguably their outcome will be a reflection of how the patriotic front is settling in the opposition. Reporting for Movie TV News, I'm Afia Skaptula, Petauke, Eastern Province. Republican President Hagainde Hijlema has returned from his first international trip with an assurance that better things are coming. Speaking on arrival at Lusaka's Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, Optimistic President Hakainde Hichilema announces that Zambians will soon begin to enjoy the benefits of his recent trip to, the New, to New York, which will include the reduction in the cost of prices of essential commodities. Mr. Hichilema says the country's development is also dependent on the international trips a head of state undertakes to benefit the majority Zambians. He says while in New York, he managed to lay a solid foundation centered on the country's development in various sectors of the economy. Meanwhile, the head of state has maintained that his government will be professional in the fight against corruption to avoid making further mistakes. And President Hichilema says his trip should not be reduced to the International Monetary Fund package because the trip represented the broader interests of Zambians. Mr. Hichilema said the trip has generated enough goodwill and energy for the United Party for National Development UPND administration to deliver its agenda for the country and results will soon show. The arrival of Zambia's President Hakainde Hichilema from New York where he has been in the last five days focusing on various multilateral and bilateral ties with world leaders. In New York, the president delivered his maiden speech at the United General Assembly. He held meetings with World Bank leaders as well as faces of the International Monetary Funds, IMF. Upon his arrival, the head of state gave a summary of his trip very very good um, uh, we have generated electricity we have generated goodwill and we want to exploit this goodwill to the best of our abilities to benefit the people of Zambia I emphasize whatever we do you will see this tradition wherever we go whatever we do is for the people of Zambia you will see credibility returning to Zambia once again and we said so before we took office before these people put us in office that we will raise the bar. We are just beginning. You will see how we perform. Mr. Hichilema has further assured Zambians that his trip to America was not a mere expenditure of national resources. On the issue of corruption, the head of state has maintained that government will handle the issue with care to avoid making further mistakes. It's the interest. It is more than the IMF. We shouldn't reduce it to the IMF. It is representing the broader interest of the people of Zambia. And I believe we did that effectively. And Zambians are yet to see the benefits, and they will see those benefits very soon. 
The key is that we must reconstruct the economy. And unless we reconstruct the economy, we cannot create jobs. We cannot support health. We cannot support education. So economic reconstruction is number one. And we set this agenda. We will not wave around it. We will stay focused. We know that's where the benefits are. We understand the anxiety Zambians have because a lot of their resources were taken away from them. Our intent is very clear that uh, we will be civil about it, we will be legal about it, we will not use a political hammer, we will allow the institutions, oversight institutions, who are mandated legally to deal with corruption, they will deal with corruption, we expect them to do it professionally, the Zambians want them to do what they are paid for to do. We will give them the political will, and they will get that will, not, not, make no mistake about it. According to him, a strong foundation has been laid for Zambia's prosperity under his New Dawn administration. For now, Zambians are more than anxious to compare and contrast his trips and those made by the past administrations. Innocent.